Sukai is made for educators by educators. You may have heard that particular tagline before, but if you know Sakai, you know it certainly isn't lip service. Every option in Sakai's rich tool set has grown out of a feature request or pedagogical need expressed by the faculty, staff, and students using the system. But hey, you don't have to take my word for it. Let's hear from a few of our community members. Well, something that I love about Sakai is that it's open source, um, but diving in further, it's actually community source, which means that uh, a collection of, in this case, colleges, universities, and academic institutions get together um, and they shape the future of the learning platform. One of the things about Sakai that's really interesting to me is the fact that it is a distributed network of developers, of communities, all of whom are involved. It's been great to see the way that our institution, Pepperdine University, has contributed ideas to the growth of Sakai, that we're able to suggest features and then programmers get right on it, uh, but here and elsewhere, and it becomes a part of the feature set, which is something that you often don't see with big commercial packages. So here is what I really am amazed with with Sakai. About, oh, not quite two and a half years ago now, a little over two years ago now, I had a really long talk with Wilma Hodges about how the rubric tool worked and how I expected it to work. And it wasn't working the way I expected it to work. Fast forward to an upgrade that happened on our campus over Christmas break. Suddenly, the rubric tool did everything I wanted it to do in the way I wanted it to work. I was shocked, I was amazed, and I was thrilled because I've never had an LMS listen to little old me before. And that ability to affect the tool that affects my life is invaluable.